this is how the the trade is going euro aud on our challenge account this is how it is going we entered this was our first let me take the brush and mark it you see i've listed it so you can see this is our first sl our stop loss for the uh, entry so i will also tell you how i entered the trade at first when the market was here after i analyzed everything and i show you the analysis and if i haven't show you i'll make a video also i'll show you the analysis why i got into this trade so we are on the 30 minutes time frame right now on euro aud so after i finished analyzing i saw the wedge the rising wedge and it's on like it's going to form uh, it's going to form a kind of like a double bottom before it reverses so I've seen everything, I've analyzed everything, how I want it to be. So I saw this break here. After this retest, immediately I have to enter. So after this retest, immediately I have to enter here, which is, you can see here, is my entry one. So this entry one, what happened is that I entered for entry one and my stop loss was at, not here though, my stop loss was around a hundred hundred dollar hundred dollar as well as my pip hundred dollars as my pip so it was kind of like it was kind of like heavy so what i did what i did is i waited for the uh, token to move a bit for the this thing to move a bit for the price of the market to move a bit before i enter another position I entered only one position because if I should enter double position, I don't, I can't, I don't want to lose much on the trade. So I have to enter one and wait for it to go to my destination a bit. So immediately I saw it came here, the price, the uh, the uh, price of the uh, market, it came here. I have to enter another position, bringing my because I told you that at first my SL was here, my first SL was here. This top you can see. So after I saw that it was too high and the risk was too is somehow is is somehow not acceptable by me. What I have to do is that I waited for the price to shift a bit. So after shifting to this side, which you can see this consolidating zone, which you can see here, what I did is that I drew my price from here, the SL from here to here, which you can see, making it my SL uh, SL one. That then I entered another trade here. After I entered one here, I waited for it to shift and I entered another trade here, bringing my second uh, stop loss to below this one, below the first one. I didn't bring it above. I bring it below so that the risk will be smaller. So I'm managing my trade. So now this is where we at and let me delete these stops. So you can see more clear. Let me delete this stuff. So uh, uh, if I delete this now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how the trade. I'm going to show you on my MT5 right now how much we are on, cause we are almost close to the TP1. So I want to show you before the TP hits, because it's definitely hitting up. Okay, so here you can see now. So I enter my entry two here, making bringing the stop loss very close. I didn't open it up. I didn't open the risk. I didn't open it to much risk. So this is where we are at right now. This is the current market price. And you can see this is, today is uh, Thursday. You can see the price, the market is open. The market is open. This is six o'clock, 6.57 a.m. New York time. So the New York market is opening now. So the open of the New York is going to hit this TP2. So this TP2 is going, is going smoothly now. And this is where uh, I'm putting my TP1 for it to hit before it reverses back up. So let me go to MT5 and show you. On MT5, this is where we at. So you can see the profit I'm on right now. This is my floating P uh, P and L. This is my profit. You can see 253 for both of the trade. So this first one, which is going to hit, if you can see here, which is going to hit TP right now, is giving me a 515 pips so my point is 884 so sorry it's uh, 115 dollar 115 usd 
so that is my take profit one and my take profit two is below the second entry which is 197 dollar so all of it together is making about i don't know it's making about 300 and something dollars so uh this is a very perfect risk to reward and my risk is very low so i can show you already i'm in break even i didn't i didn't tell you that so right now i'm in break even i've set my sl to break even the first sl to break even so the second sl is is going to go there right now the second sl 16 I don't think this is the one. So the second SL right now is there. So I have nothing to lose right now. Even though the price should reverse back up, I have nothing to lose. And it's almost there. It's almost there. Just a push now will hit our uh, take profit. So just a push. Just a push downward. Just a push downward. And we're going to hit our take profit on the second trade no so this is just one trade since i entered this trade since let me say is he is he monday or no i don't trade on monday i entered since tuesday yes and today is thursday so tuesday wednesday thursday this is the third day of this trade and this is the only trade i am on i haven't opened i haven't entered any other position this is the only trade i am on and i want to see it clear i want to see it play out clear very clear before i should enter any other trade i want to see the tp of the boat hit or the sl of the boat hit then i plan for another trade i'm not going to take much trade on this on this account challenge i'm going to maximize my risk i'm going to make sure i focus on my risks and i know what i'm doing so guys this is all i have to show you in this video and the tp is about to hit i can't wait if not i i i want to wait for you so that to hit the first tp so you see it but i have other things doing so well we show our way the result go i'm going to show you guys so it's hitting it's hitting it's hitting it it's hitting it <laughs> it's hitting it right there <laughs> So that's our TP1, TP2 is hitting it right there. So I'll show you however it goes because it's already on TP1. TP1, TP2 taking. We are, we are anticipating for the TP2 right now. So 